Welcome to the Power PMAC Laser Marker Demo. The product being used in this demonstration is the Power UMAC Rack, which is a modular rack system that allows the user to choose which access interface cards, digital I.O. cards, analog I.O. cards, amplifiers, and field bus cards to use in the system in a large variety of combinations. The Power PMAC CPU is the controller used in all Power UMAC racks. It can run at up to 1.2 GHz with 2 GB of RAM and 8 GB of flash memory, controlling up to 256 axes. The user can even modify the rack's hardware configuration at a later time by adding or subtracting hardware as needed, providing unparalleled flexibility and customization of the machine control system. To start this demonstration, the user types some alphanumerical text into a graphical user interface running on a host computer talking to Power PMAC, and then clicks Power Mark. The host computer then converts the text that the user entered into a G-code routine that is executed as a motion program dictating the laser's path. These laser paths, which are programmed in Cartesian coordinates, are input to the inverse kinematic equations that map the laser's target position to the angles of the galvanometers. These equations are executed in PMAC's inverse kinematic subroutine at a user configurable segmentation rate, converting the laser's target coordinates to motor positions. First, the machine uses a brushless servo motor to load a dog tag into its rotary table. Then, Power PMAC uses another brushless motor to rotate the table such that the dog tag is placed in the working area. Once the dog tag is in position, the laser marking begins. Using the motor positions it calculated in the inverse kinematic subroutine, Power PMAC controls two galvanometers in order to rapidly rotate mirrors that redirect the laser's beam to etch the text into the dog tag. At the same time, the kinematic subroutine is executing an algorithm for varying the position of the laser's magnification lens, which is controlled by a voice coil motor, in order to keep the focal point of the laser on the flat surface of the tag, while a real-time process varies the laser's intensity proportional to the speed at which the laser is traversing its program path, decreasing the intensity around corners and increasing it on straightaways in order to get a uniform laser marking. Power PMAC also uses a trajectory pre-filter to prevent oscillations of the index table due to inertial mismatching between the motor and the table. The entire process to etch a full dog tag takes no more than a few seconds. Even at these speeds, this demo is only scratching the surface of Power PMAC's capabilities for motion control applications requiring extreme precision and high bandwidth closed loop control. We hope you have enjoyed this demonstration please visit our website for more details.